Dzień dobry. I'm sorry, my pronunciation is normally horrible. I'd just like to commence by acknowledging the first Australians on whose land we meet, especially the Nagarago people, uh, one of the oldest and continuing cultures in human history. Um, it gives me great pleasure to be here today representing the Premier Barry O'Farrell, who unfortunately couldn't make it, and I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Skudat Kozak, the President of Kosciuszko Heritage, for inviting me to join you at the Moonbar Festival. I'd like to congratulate Kosciuszko Heritage and the Jindabai and Aero Club for all the hard work that they've done in organising today's celebrations. Today's Moonbar Festival provides a valuable opportunity to celebrate the history of friendship and collaboration between the Aboriginal and Polish Australians of the Snowy Mountains region and to share the rich, separate and shared traditions of both with a broader audience. Uh, I am a historian by trade, that's the doctor in front of my name. I wish I was a medical doctor because I'd have a lot more money. But I'm a historian by trade and I would just like to, to congratulate Kosciuszko Heritage. The Moonba Festival also provides a timely opportunity to recognise the great work that's being done in our community to keep history and tradition alive and to enable young and elderly alike to celebrate their shared cultural heritage. You see, in New South Wales we have people from over 200 countries of the world, with almost a quarter of the population born overseas. A feature of that diversity is that that will grow in the future, as New South Wales continues to be a popular destination for new immigrants, attracting almost 30% of all new arrivals to Australia. The Poles have been immigrants over many different uh, decades in Australia. There were the original um, uh, Poles who came out in less than fortunate circumstances in the convict ships, um, but then later on in the 1840s following, uh, early 1850s following the great 1848 revolutions, um, various Polish nationalists would come out to Australia. Uh, and the Poles always came seeking freedom, and Australia is a land of open skies, open plains, and freedom. The Poles themselves have had to face Prussian uh, imperialism, uh, Russian imperialism, uh, communism, uh, fascism, and then communism again. And all through this period of time, Poles have longed for freedom. The Poles that have come to Australia, I would like to think, have been able to appreciate the freedoms which this country provides, and in turn, we have given them a home which they can love and endure forever. Um, it's ironic that Poles and Plains should be here today, because just up the road in Cooma, uh, was the birthplace of Pat Hughes. Pat Hughes was the Australian in the Battle of Britain, who is the highest score of any Australian. He, um, he survived for six weeks before being killed. Um, and the Poles, of course, who came out here after the war, a number of them were Poles who had served with Australians at Tobruk and Poles who had served with Australians um, in the Royal Air Force uh, fighting in that war. Again, fighting for freedom. And together we acknowledge that today as further aviators take up poles to enjoy Moomba and Mount Kosciuszko. Today we acknowledge both our old and our new Australians. Our people together with their language and cultural skills and their intimate knowledge of the human highways of New South Wales. We strongly believe that by sharing ideas and experiences we will be able to build a better Australia, generate new business links and build stronger growth for our state. So on behalf of the Honourable Barry O'Farrell, the New South Wales Premier, I offer you my congratulations on an, another successful Moomba Festival and I thank Kosciuszko Heritage for their outstanding contribution to our community. Chin Kuyeh.